we use emojis to our advantage because it helps. We found that it helps ads stand out in the newsfeed. We're going to do a deep dive into a couple of websites today to give you an SEO or show you what an SEO audit looks like. And, and a lot of uh, you out there might not know what an SEO audit is. SEO, for those that don't know, search engine optimization. Um, and we're going to go into the back end of a couple sites. But Todd's going to go in and, um, and kind of dissect what's happening and give you guys some tips on what you can be doing on your own website um, to better optimize it for search. In 2019, I merged my social media agency with Casio, Todd's SEO company, uh, to form Merged Media. So Todd is the, uh, the CEO at Merged Media. And... Um, and yeah, he's, he's the business partner and he's a whiz. He's a sorcerer when it comes to SEO. And he's going to be able to, to provide you guys with a lot of value. Ready to rock and roll? I'm ready to rock and roll, yeah. All right, let's do it. If you're looking to expand and get your services in the right areas, then you, know, you need to look at what pages and what keywords do I need to target. So the homepage, you know, Vancouver track days is going to be a big one to target. Uh, that's going to get the most searches and you can do that by you know putting your in your key, desired keywords so vancouver track days and this is gonna bring up these so this is a tool that i use so you know i would to keep this simple just think of keywords that someone's gonna google for you so travel agent you know london travel agent new york or your sub area wherever you are you would kind of assume someone's googling travel agent city so that's where I would start. And then same with your services. So these guys, if they're going to be doing car track days, I know they're offering motorbike. You're going to create, you're going to need to create new pages if you don't have that page. So you're going to make the URL car track days. And what that, what that does is creates more of a kind of targeted service pages on your site. And it's going to be easier to rank for them keywords, if that makes sense. So would you consider, would you, would you say, you know, creating some blogs obviously around those keywords, right? Would be key. Yeah. And, and not only that, that's where your title tag, uh, and meta description comes in. So, you know, your title tag is this part here. So when you change your title tag on your website, you're changing this section here on Google. And what you're doing is that the essential thing here is getting your keyword in that title tag. So you're going to be putting in your title tag, Vancouver track days, and then you want to use something like this and then put your brand name. So pit meadows track days. So that's going to be what is going to, sh that's going to show on here once you update it in Yoast. So you're going to go to the back end of Meadow, wherever uh, I'm losing it with the tabs now. <laughs> Hold on. Hit Meadow, WP Admin. Okay, so you're going to want to go to the page. So this is going to be for your homepage here, because you're going to want your homepage to target kind of track days or whatever and this is not me going into full detail i don't know too much about pit meadow uh track days but you know you know more about your business so you're going to know what to naturally target we when we do this we use keyword tools and stuff to really understand the business um but i'm trying to keep this simple in terms of you know your own business so you're going to know what to put for the home page you know you know what your customers are going to be googling for your business what we're going to do is we're going to go to the home page of pit meadow track days on your wordpress site and now you've installed yoast you've added this little kind of um tool here and it's really easy to now edit your title you don't have to go in and change code you're literally going to edit you're just going to click here and it opens up this and we've decided I'm gonna add, I'm gonna change the title back, so I don't know if that's the keyword. But Vancouver track days, I'm gonna take that from my spreadsheet and put it into here. And what's gonna happen is once Google recalls that site, this will change to Vancouver track days. I so, think the, I think the big mistake that a lot of people make is is when you do a Google, all you see is homepage. It says home and and their company yes. name, right? That's not what people want. 
Well, even here, like uh, you can see Pit Meadows track days, and these guys could use this to kind of use their the correct keywords if I'm on the wrong track here. Um, the title is too long. So, you know, that there's not a lot of value added here unless they're Googling their brand. If, if you're trying to target people that are Googling keywords, you want to have that relevant to the keywords they're Googling because they're just seeing good times, who's track. Um, mm. There's not much relevancy to what they're trying to find, if you know what I mean. How much real estate do, uh, in, uh, do people have there? How many words or how many? So letters? this is the great thing. So I'm actually under the word count right now. Got it. Um, so using Yoast SEO, you can actually, this tells you when you're going over that real estate. Got it. So this is a great tool to kind of stop you from taking up too much. And yeah, so you can perfectly fit in all the keywords you want to target. You don't want to repeat the same keywords, but yeah, you can, you can definitely build this to how what Google is wanting that real estate to be. So the benefit of an emoji, I think, is just it shows a, a bit of originality and kind of stands out from the other listings, right? Exactly. And yeah, I didn't plan on the emoji discussion, but the big thing about an emoji is say you're ranking top three for um, your travel agency. Well, if you add an emoji in there, it's going to really catch that person's eye that's Googling. So your click through rate is going to go up and that actually helps your rankings. If Google sees that people are more going to your website and enjoying that website, it's actually going to kind of increase your rankings at the same time. And we see that on social all the time. You know, we're using we use emojis to our advantage because it helps. We found that it helps ads stand out in the newsfeed. You don't want to go crazy with it, but I think what you did uh, for CF landscaping there, Todd, was pretty effective. Just using just using the one, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean. I was struggling with like top five because obviously I'm competing with such big websites here for, you know, home stars. And, you know, these guys are all massive websites that you're competing with. Even Ground Sky, it's a national company. And as you can see, I'm the, I'm the only kind of small business sitting in these top rankings because you're doing the right steps to, uh, take advantage. Thanks, Todd, for joining us today. If anybody has any questions, you know where to reach us. Um, in the Digital Marketing for Travel group, or you can reach us at merged.ca. Uh, thanks again. Stay tuned. Uh, we got some great guests coming up in the next couple of weeks. Okay. Thanks again. See ya. <laughs>